Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall see how we can find the minors and cofactors of a matrix. So, let us define minors and cofactors of a matrix. Let me explain that. If A is a matrix, if A is a square matrix, then, then the minor is represented as M I J like that minor of the elements minor let me write that here minor of the elements minor of the elements A I J is the determinant of the matrix is the determinant determinant of the matrix determinant of the matrix obtained by obtained by deleting the ith row and the jth column um, jth column of matrix A by deleting let me write that here and I, I will explain it with an example deleting the ith row and jth column I'll explain what that is ith row and jth column of the matrix A okay um, and since we are also talking about the cofactors, let me define that one too and then we'll go back and then explain minors and cofactors with an example. And the cofactors, let me write that here, cofactors. Cofactor is represented as Cij, like that. And then the formula for that is negative 1 raised to the power of i plus j. Mij, where Mij is the minor, minor of the elements Aij. So we will use the definition of minors and cofactors and then try to understand if we can be able to explain, uh, explain these, these uh, basic concepts with relation to, with, uh, with respect to an example. Let's say we have an example of this, this kind. If A is a square matrix and then if A has elements of this nature A11, A12, A13 then A21, A22, A23 as a second row and A31, A32 and A33 as the third row and it, if these are the elements of this matrix then we can write the minors as follows. Minor, we can represent that as minor of minor of A11. We can write that as I'm going to write the elements one more time like this, and I want to show something here. A11, A12, A13, A21, A22. A two three, A three one, A three two, and A three three, and then in here we're going to I'm going to pick another color here. In here we're going to since we want to find the minor of A one one, we're going to delete the first row and first column, and then write the write whatever is left whatever elements are left there so therefore when we write it out we're going to we're going to write this one as follows so minor of a11 we normally write that as m11 is equal to since we have deleted the first row and first column the elements which are not accounted for are a22 a23 a32 and a33 those are the elements which are left. 
therefore now this is 3 and now we are ready to expand this or find the determinant of this and the, the determinant would be by multiplying the the elements along the major diagonal which is going to be a22 times a33 a33 minus and the elements along the minor diagonal are going to be um, a32 times a23 so the minor of a11 can be written out as a determinant in this manner in this manner okay and now that we have the minor let us also write the cofactor just below this so that way we have all the information together so the cofactor which is represented as cij is equal to negative 1 raised to the power of i plus j mij that is the formula we talked about since here we are talking about we want to find the the cofactors of uh, of uh, element a11 which it is going to be c11 that means first row first column i is the i row and j is the jth column so here i is uh, row and j is the column representation is going to be equal to negative 1 raised to the power of i is 1 which is the row and j is the column which is 1 again and m i j is m 1 1 right so uh, i is 1 and j is 1 so therefore that is how we, we can write it out therefore negative 1 will simplify this negative 1 raised to the power of 2 m 1 1 we have just figured that one out uh, to be uh, let me write m 1 1 here for a minute m 1 1 and therefore negative 1 raised to the power of 2 is going to be positive 1 so we don't need to write a positive 1 we can just uh, leave it as 1 or not write anything so m11 the expansion is this isn't it we have a22 times a33 minus a32 times there is no negative sign here times a32 times a23 so we have defined how to find the minor and how to find the cofactor of uh, of a uh, of a particular element of a matrix and we can continue this process for all the elements i'm going to show you one more and then we will then try to solve a problem to see how we can arrive at that in here let us say we want to find the minor of element we want to find let me write that here find the minor of L, uh, of uh, a12 element a12 and we also want to find the cofactor we want to find the cofactor of element a12 okay so let's uh, let's get that the minor of a12 which can be represented as m12 can be written out as follows i'm going to write the mate the write the elements of the matrix one more time a11 a12 a13 then a21 a22 let me write it a little bit more clear here this is a22 then a23 then we have a31 a32 and then a33 and then in here we are going to we are going to uh, de delete the first row and this time the second column the a a12 element a12 is where that is where we want to circle that and then we want to say we want to delete the first row and second column and therefore when, once we do that, whatever elements are not accounted for, once the and uh, what not deleted are these elements, isn't it? Those are going to be a two one, a two three, a three one, and a three three. These are the elements we have, and therefore to find the minor of that, 
we're going to perform this operation here. We're going to multiply the the uh, elements along the major diagonal, which is going to be A21 times A33 minus, multiply the uh, elements along the minor diagonal, which are going to be A31 times A23. Okay, so that is how we, we find the minor of element A12. Now that we got that, we got the minors of, of this particular um, element, let us find the cofactors of this as well. The cofactors is going to be as follows. C12, we can write as negative 1 raised to the power of 1 plus 2. I here is 1, J here is 2. And then times M12, first row, second column. So cofactors is um, involves the minors as well and therefore we can write this one as negative 1 raised to the power of 1 plus 2 is 3 and the minors we have just found for m12 as equal to this isn't it a21 all of this a21 times times a33 minus a31 times A23 and therefore negative 1 raised to the power of 3 will be negative 1 anytime a negative sign is raised to the is raised to the third power or an odd number it is going to it the negative sign the value is going to be a neg negative value so therefore we're going to come back here and then write this as negative of negative of a21 times a33 minus a31 times a23 we can also simplify this by distributing the negative sign into every one of these uh, uh, into the um, set of brackets here but we can we will explain that some more when we solve an example and we can find the minors and cofactors for all the elements for all the elements and therefore um, this is a sample of how we can find the how we can find the minors and cofactors we will try and explain uh, the uh, ex uh, explain or expand the minors and cofactors with an example in my next presentation